Good day, mga kapatid, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to discuss about the place value, value, and rounding off numbers. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe and click the button. And sh shout out muna sa Ichabis family, Castilian family, and sa mga taga Philippine United, sila si Boss Abel, Boss Chapao, and Mom Irish. Okay, let us start discussing about the place value of numbers. So, meron tayong number dito. Okay, basahin muna natin. 8,674,203. To get the place value of a number, so we'll start with the right side. So, dito sa kanan. So, right side, pinatao na ito yun, yung number 3. So, ito yung ones place. Second, ito yung tinatawag na tens. Sunod, ito ay yung hundreds space. Okay, next, ito naman ang thousands place. After sa thousands, ito naman yung tinatawag na ten thousands. Then after sa ten thousands, itong tinatawag na ting hundred thousands. After sa hundred thousands, ito yung millions. Okay, now, let's practice what we have learned a while ago. So, dito may instruction na write the place value of the underlined number. So, we have numbers here and merong mga numbers na merong underlined. So, we'll write or we'll tell what is the place value of that underlined number. So, number one. Okay. Basahin mo na natin yung number. 79,124. So, the underlined number here is number nine. So, again, to determine the place value, simula tayo sa right side. So, ito yung ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, meaning, number nine here is in the thousands place. Okay, yan. Then, number 2. So, number 2, ang number is 107,623. So, yung underlined number niya is yung 1. So, simula tayo dito. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s. So, ang answer dito ay 100,000s. Okay. Number three, we have 5,675,145. So, same step. So, dito, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So, the answer here is millions. So, number four, we have the number 4,879,342. Okay. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay. Number five. So, number 5 is 489,204. So, very easy kasi yung underlined number is yung pinakauna. Ano yung pinakauna? Okay, once. Okay. Now, how do we determine the place value and the value of the number? 
So, example, okay, we have 3,205,614. So, the underlined number here is number 2. So, ito po yung i-determine natin kung ano ang place value niya at ano po ang value ng number 2. So, again, we, go, we start with the right side. So, ito yung ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So, ang place value niya is hundred thousands. Now, paano naman kukunin yung value ni 2? So, simple lang po. So, i-write mo yung number 2. Okay, ito yung number 2. Then, i-multiply mo kung ano ang kanyang place value. So, ang place value niya is 100,000. So, multiply. 2 times 100,000 equals 200,000. So, yung value ni 2 is 200,000. Okay. Ganyan lang kasimple po. So, again, so, you'll write the number underlined. So, yun, yun ang 2. So, you write yung 2. Then, multiply it sa kanyang place value. So, ang kanyang place value is 100,000. So, isulpo yung 100,000. So, multiply. 2 times 100,000. So, dalawang 100,000 equals 200,000. Yun ang kanyang value. Okay. Second example, number 2. We have 6,521,579. So, again, number 2 is the underlined number. So, uh, first, we get the place value. So, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So, yung kanyang place value is ten thousands. And now, we'll get the value. So, paano yun? Isulat yung underlined number. Then, multiply it kung ano ang kanyang place value. So, ang kanyang place value is ten thousands. So, multiply. 2 times 10,000. So, dalawang 10,000 is 20,000. So, ganyan lang po kung paano ang pagkuha ng value ng isang number. So, next, we have to go to how to round off numbers. So, magbigay tayo ng example dito. Okay. I have here the number 875. So, halimbawa, yung instruction is round off to the nearest hundreds. So, round off to the nearest hundreds. So, alam na natin kanina kung paano kunin yung uh, place value. So, ang hundreds dito ay yung number 8. Okay, ones, tens, hundreds. Now, so, merong rule po ang pag round of numbers. So, halimbawa, ito yung hundreds place. So, i-underline natin, no? So, tignan natin yung number nasa kanyang right side o nasa kanyang kanan. Ang rule is, kung ang number na nasa kanyang kanan ay 0 hanggang 4. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 at 4 we will not add one value to the underlined number but kung ang number na nasa kanan ay 5 6 7 8 at 9 mag-add tayo ng isang value sa underlined number so yung nasa kanan niya ay 7 so 7 so ito nandito siya so mag-add 1 tayo sa underlying number. So, plus 1 ka. So, 8 plus 1 equals 9. So, 8 plus 1 equals 9. Anong mangyayari sa dalawang number na ito? So, itong dalawa ay magiging 0 na. So, the answer is 900. So, 875 round off to the nearest hundreds. The answer is 900. 
So, another example. So, dito naman, yung uh, instruction niya is round off to the nearest hundred thousands. So, yung, yung number natin dito is 7,612,874. So, nasan yung hundred thousands niya? So, ito yung ones, tens, thousands, oh, no, no, no. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So, a hundred thousand dito ay is yung number six. So, ito yung ipinara round off. So, again, yung step kung paano, tignan mo yung right niya. Sa underlined number, so, tignan mo yung nasa right niya. So, ang nasa right niya ay yung number one. Again, kung ang katabing number ng underlined number ay zero, 1, 2, 3, at 4, you will not add one value to the underlying number. So, yung katabi niya is number 1. So, 1. So, again, hindi tayo mag-add. So, ito ay mag-remain ng 6. Ito yung 6 pa rin siya. So, what happened to this number na nasa left side niya? Copy this one. Ito, yung... yung Number na nasa left side ng underlying number, just copy. So, copy 7. Okay. So, at ito yung numbers na nasa right niya, lahat yan magiging 0 na. Okay. So, the answer is 7,600,000. So, ito yung answer niya. Another example. Ito yung same number kanina, yung 7,600,000. 612,874 Now, yung pinaround off naman niya ay round off to the nearest millions So, nasa millions naman ang ipa-round off So, nasa ng millions dito So, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions So, ang millions dito ay yung number 7 okay. Again, same, same step uh, Look at the number na nasa kanyang kanan So, ang number na sa kanyang kanan ay yung number 6. Okay. Balikan na naman sa rule. Okay. Kung ang katabi sa kanan ay 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Ano yun? Do not add one value sa underline. But yung katabi niya na sa right side ay 5, 6, 7, 8, o 9. Add one ka sa underline number mo. Nasa yung ano. Underline number is 7. So, 6 ang katabi. So, mag-add 1 tayo sa 7. So, 7 plus 1 equals 8. So, anong mangyayari dito? Mga number na sa kanyang kanan lahat, ito ay lahat magiging 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 na 0. So, the answer is, the answer is 8 million. I hope you learned something today and I hope ito yung makatutulong sa inyong pag-aaral. Again, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and please support it by clicking also the notification bell para uh, ma-notify kayo sa aking mga susunod na mga tutorials. Thank you po.